First of all, forget AirPods. Apple Card is a new flex. Titanium built, all sexy looking. No numbers showing. Wow, so private. People thinking, OMG, wow, this is the new money saver. Apple's got us. Not so fast. I'll stop you right there, sir. What I'm about to tell you is the real secret behind Apple's card. And funny enough, it has nothing to do with the card itself. But let's quickly go over some interesting features the card offers. There's actually a really cool tracking system built in to this, and um, it tracks what you spend, uh, where you spend, what you spend on, how much obviously, and also shows uh, how much money you save uh, exactly then and there. Like it adds onto your cash card, which is a really cool, new, innovative system. And the best part is, it shows you how much interest you are paying. Very useful and actually very smart. But now let's go over what Apple has gone through in the past year, because history is very important. Massive downfall in the market, losing a billion dollars, which is the first time Apple lost so much money, primarily because the iPhones are not selling. They're just so expensive. People don't feel like they need to upgrade. In reality, you really don't. Unless you want to show off how much money you got, or you're an actual tech-savvy person. In reality, we just want to use the apps all iPhones already have, which do perfectly fine. So why Apple Card? Apple Card reward system is somehow one of the best looking out there with fabulous looking 3% cash back and on uh, Apple purchases and 2% on everything else. No fees at all. But how is this making them money if they're losing so much? And in every video I see on YouTube, they try to break it down and honestly, no one is going to really realize it. In the trailer for the Apple Card, they announced 2% cash back on everything else when using Apple Pay. Do you see what just happened there? The entire table just flipped and people aren't even seeing it fly over their heads. They're basically saying to get 2% cash back on everything, which sounds amazing, you need an iPhone without actually saying it. What of the people without iPhones? Is this their way to reel them in? What of the people with older gen iPhones? Because I'm afraid this feature might only be limited to iPhone X and above. And if this is true, their iPhone sales are just about to go right back up which is 60% of their revenue in the entire company. Remember, this company has mad geniuses working behind them at the top level. People who know how to manipulate and pull in customers. They make customers wait hours in line for practically the same iPhone as six months ago. They are geniuses and I believe the Apple card is just their ace of cards to bring up iPhone sales once again, making them the number one company yet again. Hope you guys enjoyed my first video, please leave a like and subscribe and comment down what you think of my theory.